Gary Hetherington flew home early from the Great Britain Tour to New Zealand, where he's been assistant coach, to hear new owner Paul Caddick spell out his vision of the future. Gary Hetherington and myself have worked out a package of financial support and, and all around general management, which will put Leeds back to where it should be. It won't be easy. Twelve months ago, they were Wigan's main rivals for honours. In the first summer Super League season, they slumped alarmingly on the field, while off it, their debts mounted. The club was in a perilous uh, position uh, and uh, it was a big decision to, to take it on. But having made that decision, as I said, uh, Leeds is a rugby city. It's uh, got thousands and thousands of supporters and a lot of more potential supporters as well. Leeds had also been a target for a takeover by Caspian, Leeds United's new owners, who wanted both clubs to play at Elland Road. That's now off the agenda. Headingley may have been saved as a rugby venue, but what about the long-term future of the Leeds coaching team of Dean Bell and Huey McGann? Will it mean closer links with the Leeds Rugby Union Club, who play here at the moment? And will it make any difference to Yorkshire County Cricket Club's avowed intention to leave Headingley and move to a new stadium on a greenfield site near Wakefield? The new owners are keen to persuade Yorkshire to stay, though Yorkshire remain unconvinced. No, no, the committee decided uh, unanimously to, to take the Wakefield option and that is where we're committed. But links with the Rugby Union Club will inevitably be strengthened. Mr Caddick already has connections, both as a former player and now committee man. Already there's speculation about a merger. I think it's a possibility in the future, but I would only say that as a possibility rather than a, a probability. There will be a coming together in terms of uh, the whole business, which will help both sides and give perhaps the edge to the rugby union and to the rugby league above all of the clubs. It will in effect be the largest rugby club in the world. As for Bell and McGann, well despite Gary Hetherington's coaching credentials, the old adage of two's company, three's a crowd, does not appear to apply yet. No intentions of coaching the team, it's a, that's an area of a job that I've always enjoyed, but I won't be doing that at Leeds. Uh, but no, uh, the, the whole team management and coaching of a, uh, a Super League team is much more than a one-man job nowadays. It's given us some hope, it's given me some hope that I can finally go about my duties in the way I imagined when I first signed. But more importantly, it's given the fans some hope that you know, they're in for a brighter future. The immediate priority is to assess current playing strengths and analyse where new players are needed. On the evidence of much of last season, there could be big changes ahead.